trains. They're everywhere, and for the most part, we all use them. But we all know that trains are not the best. Since 2006, rail fares have risen 56%, which is twice as much as wages have risen. In 2017, we saw the most train delays in nearly 15 years. And in a recent survey, 56% of people said that UK railways are a failure. On top of this, Parliament itself has said that UK's rail system is no longer fit for service. This isn't surprising considering that a journey from London to Bristol costs £96.50, and pence, whereas in countries like Italy and Belgium, similar length journeys are as low as £16. With these problems discussed, we have asked a member of the public for their opinions on some of these issues. Uh, th one minute. I'll try, I'll get, I get to that point where train delays are really bad and then I forget. I think train delays are really bad. This is because if you need to get to a place on time, like a job, meeting, or just somewhere in general, if a train's delayed, it's wasting all this time that you need to be somewhere. And you could probably get a bus, but the chances are you're going to be delayed the same amount of time because buses are obviously slower than trains and you've got to deal with traffic as well. And it's not, it's not, it's not helpful, and it's a big waste of time. As well, I think not only public transport, I think freight, delayed freight trains are also like really bad. This is because, like, say if it's delivering materials for a company, if it's delayed, it's stopping production, and it's not allowing that company to like produce or gain income. So, it's, yeah, cut part of that out. I believe ticket prices are extortionate. This is because they're getting more expensive each year and it's becoming unable to ride the train due to how high the prices are. It, it's becoming easier to use personal transport such as a car because it's a lot cheaper on petrol as well as you with either your family or your friends or someone at least you know. It's clean and then um, it's also, it's like... Well, as unfortunate as it is, I don't think trains will last if they don't change. For the reason being that the ticket prices are just going higher and higher each year and it's becoming impossible to buy a ticket that's cheap and where you want to go, especially for a return. As well as the reason being that the trains are usually messy from other people that have been on there and it's genuinely an uncomfortable experience. However, if they do change and they become cleaner, more efficient and a lot cheaper for example I think more people would start to use them more and they'd become more popular because it'd be a faster way of transport as well as it being clean and nice 